Gaming study says too much in-game GPS is bad for you. Next time you boot up your favorite first-person shooter, it may be wise to switch off the heads-up display or minimap. Why? According to new research, too much in-game GPS could be bad for your brain. Participants in the video game study played games for between 2 and 4 hours, 3 times a week for up to 12 hours per week, resulting in 90 hours of gameplay time. The research looked at the effects of gameplay on the hippocampus and the caudate nucleus. The first is responsible for emotions, learning, and memory formation. The latter helps us form habits and routines. Routines such as when to eat, exercise, or get home from work, and how to reward yourself for your behavior, are stored in the caudate nucleus. The study found the hippocampus shrank after 90 hours of action and shooter gaming because players use their caudate nucleus more to play and navigate. However, the reverse was true for those playing 3D platform games. After 90 hours, researchers saw an increase in the gray matter in their hippocampi, and they were reportedly playing Super Mario games. The gist of it is this. In shooters and action games, players follow a map and are on a linear path, going from A to B. The study puts that too much of this is harmful for your brain. Super Mario, on the other hand, the researchers say, encourages you to remember landmarks and use spatial awareness and is good for the brain. And a bad hippocampus, they say, can result in depression and possibly even dementia. But University of Oxford professor Andrew Shubrilsky points out that the study lacks statistical power and the framing of harm may mislead readers. He told The Mirror, The interpretation of harm, although attention-grabbing, was not peer-reviewed and appears to have been introduced afterwards. So basically, the study got published, then it was spun in a news release stating video games can harm brains. Newspapers saw that and thought, video games cause brain damage, yo! But the reality is that studies on gaming are inconclusive and mixed at best. For every study that says gaming is good for you, you'll find one that says it's bad. And speaking of studies, this team's work has been, as Villanova University psychology professor Patrick Markey tweets, debunked in the past for similar reasons. What's your take? Fire off below and let us know.